Stoss 23 here, and today we have a lot of Giant Mouse knives to talk about and a brand new model coming from them. This is the Giant Mouse Ace line, the a little bit more affordable line that they produce, and uh, all these knives are designed by Jasper Voxnez and uh, Jen Zanzo, two of my favorite uh, knife designers. And let's go through these one by one, and then we will check out the brand new model. First one we have is the Sonoma V2. Um, I had the V1 way back in the day when they first had came out. It was a titanium frame lock, and then they dropped this V2 with the micarta scales. You can get it in natural micarta, nice contoured micarta, comfortable in hand. Uh, this one has a stonewash finish on it, nice forward finger choil, beautiful crown spine. The Sonomas were made by Riot, and uh, yeah, look at that flipper tab. Perfectly executed, canted back. Nice and minimal, good jimping, nice action on bearings. And this is a great, slim, uh, everyday carry knife. Easy to carry with that uh, wire pocket clip. That is tip up, left or right hand carry. Titanium backspacer with a integrated lanyard loop. <laughs> good access to that lock bar. And overall, this is just a good package for an EDC knife. You have a nice drop point blade. Has a little bit more belly than I really usually go for, but it still uh, functions pretty darn nicely. And overall, I find it to be an attractive knife. Um, <clears throat> and one cool thing is, is that any of these that you like, um, I will have uh, links down below. I am now an affiliate. Me and uh, Neves Knives are an affiliate with a Giant Mouse and uh, you could help support the channel if you're already planning on buying one of these. So that's the first one, the Giant Mouse Sonoma V2, Giant Mouse Ace line. Next up, we have the Giant Mouse Ace Corta. I reviewed this one not too long ago, and it really did shock me on how much I ended up liking this knife. I definitely think it uh, hasn't got the praise it deserves. Very underrated knife. You have a very wicked, wicked tip there, that same beautiful crown spine. These are produced by Riot as well. You have the wire pocket clip, tip up left or right hand carry. It, these are all liner locks, uh, sil solid, solid lockup. I mean, apps, when I say bank vault on every single one of these, beautiful, beautiful lockup, good sharpening choil there, giving you some sharpening life, nice satin finish on that uh, M390 blade. Nice contoured micarta scales. These are natural micarta. You can also get it in green micarta and uh, I want to say uh, black G10 maybe. Uh, this one has, I think it's a brass backspacer. Overall, a good EDC size for me. Fits my medium size hands just right. And it's uh, nice and comfortable. Next up, probably one of my favorites as of right now. And that is Giant Mouse Ace Jutland. Um, I reviewed this one, I think the most recently. And I was kind of blown away. This is produced in Maniago, Italy. And I can always tell the ones that are produced in Italy uh, by the micarta. I don't know if it'll show up here, but they're both excellent. Like I love both, both micartas from uh, both places, but I don't know if they bead blast their micarta, I mean, or blast their micarta or what, but it has a, a much rougher feeling in hand. It gives a lot of traction. Uh, while still feeling good. Beautiful contouring, and of course, we know if it's from Maniago, they're gonna have nice and crowned parts like this uh, titanium backspacer, beautifully rounded. Um, nice flipper tab that's nice and discreet. I was kind of worried how it kind of scoops up right there, but literally you just put your fingers like a trigger, pull it back, and this thing comes out with authority. A beautiful clip point blade, and uh, in LMAX steel with a, a nice satin finish. And you even have some crowning right here as well. It's even crowned on the top right here. Very, very comfortable, very comfortable. You can kind of do a trigger finger choke up if you needed to. Um, you also have that blade hole to deploy it and it comes out nice and fast. You can reverse flick it. Just a fidgety knife. Fun knife to uh, use, and it was a good slicer as well. Next up, I picked this one up at Blade Show last year, and this is the Giant Mouse Ace Nazca. Um, now, this one is the first one, I think, that they've gotten produced by Best Tech, and uh, this was, uh, I think, Best Tech's first crossbar lock, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong on that, but I think somebody had said that. Uh, nice and thinly ground, or decently thinly ground. M390 blade steel, 
thumb stud action, which I love. Brass backspacer, wire pocket clip. Let's tip up left or right hand carry. Super, super smooth action. Now, the Omega Springs are a little bit stronger than I, I usually like, uh, but you know, it's not, they're not overly strong. Uh, they're they're a little bit lighter than uh, the Best Tech Ronin that I thought was a little little stiff. Good blade shape, nice needle like point right there for piercing. Very very comfortable scales for my medium sized hands. Nice sharpening choil right there to give you a lot of sharpening life. You can kind of see how thin it is right here. Uh, <laughs> this thing is a bank vault with that crossbar lock. Super strong lock up on this one easily access it completely ambidextrous knife being that it's a crossbar lock and your pocket clip is tipped for left or right hand carry so that's super cool oldie but goodie a lot of you should know this one by now and that's the giant mouse ace biblio this was the first giant mouse knife that i ever purchased i've been having this one for a really long time and uh this one is uh made in italy m390 uh this is probably my favorite of the blade shapes and this is definitely a vox blade shape there um you can choke up on this one nice crown spine like all the rest now the action on this one is a little weak uh it was it was dialed more for the flipper at first but i'm not a big flipper fan so i kind of backed off on the the lock bar tension and made it to where I could easily spidey flick it because it was kind of difficult for me to spidey flick it or slow roll it. And that's just my preference. But, you know, these uh, the, are super, this is probably their most popular knife to date. I mean, it could be because it's the, old, the oldest model for them, I think, or the oldest Ace model. And they've had so many different variations. They got a titanium frame lock version of it. They got a brass version of it. Tons of different versions. And uh, overall, it's a really, really nice knife. We got the Ace brand, one that I just recently got to check out. Uh, Giant Mouse sent this one for me to take a look. Uh, L Max Steel clip point blade, but it's a straight clip. So, you know, your belly is just going up, you know, a little bit deeper up here in the front. Still gonna be good for, you know, utility style cutting. It's a robust knife. This my opinion is made for, you know, as like a work knife, a heavier user. Um, I love the micarta on this one. Nice thick slabs of micarta, the contoured, nice titanium backspacer. Um, the, the lanyard hole, it seems like it's in an odd spot. I don't know, you'd have a, I don't know. I'm not a lanyard guy, so you tell me if, if that's an odd spot. Perfect spot for that jimping. I like how uh, Vox usually does that, where he'll put it where your thumb's actually gonna land. This one is very comfortable in hand, but this is a big knife. Let's see, um, just for instance, because a lot more people have the Biblio. This is pivot to pivot with the Biblio. So as you can see, overall dimensions, it's a much bigger knife. If you go butt to butt, you can see the overall length difference. You have a high flat grind on this one. Nice top swedge, and you can see you still have a pretty robust tip. Doesn't look as robust because they, they have that crowning up here, or uh, not really crowning, where the swedge comes down, so it makes it look thinner. Beautiful stone wash. Uh, the, the access to lock bar is okay uh, on this one. Now, this one, I, I, I thought it's super cool. I, I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, upset that I didn't experience this one when they first had come out. I know, you know, a lot of people told me to check it out because they loved it. And now I see why. Super cool. But like I said, it is a bigger knife. It's it's probably an 8-inch knife somewhere. Let's, it's a good full-size EDC knife. But if this, this one was too big for you, we got something special for y'all. So here's the new mini Ace Grand. Now, they, they got another name for it. I'm not going to... I'll put the name up here to this knife. It's A-T-E-L-I-E-R. I'm not going to try, but they, they're also going to call it the Mini Ace Grand. So, right now, it's going to be coming in two different variations. You can get it in the same micarta and uh, L-Max blade steel. So, it's just a shrunk down version. I don't know... 
Looks like the stocks are... This is a perfect, perfect EDC size for my medium-sized hands. These fingers go here. This finger goes here. Feels nice and comfortable because you have that contoured micarta. Love that thumb hole. I wish the lock access was just a little bit better. It's not terrible. Uh, I've had these for a few days now, playing around with them. I did a little bit of cutting with this one. Now, this is just my first impressions on this one. I will do a full review and testing of uh, one of these two. Now, the other one is the titanium liner lock version. And I must say, the looks and looks category, I like the titanium one as far as looks goes because just check this out. It's got this nice, fine milling pattern on it. It's got like a gray finish to it. They both have satin blades on the smaller one. Wire pocket clips. And the micarta has the titanium and the, ti the titanium liner lock one has the brass backspacer. So I will have links to both of these. I'll have links to all these down in the description. Like I said, I am now an affiliate with Giant Mouse. So if, you, if you're already planning on getting one of these and you want to help support the channel, that would be great if you uh, tried out my affiliate or just followed my affiliate link to it. If not, no harm. Now, one thing I did notice between these two, I ended up carrying the micarta one more because um, the lock bar, I don't know if it's any like any further out. Maybe that the the this one has more lock bar pressure because it's harder for me to push over the lock bar on the titanium one. Uh, I can easily do it on the micarta one. And it's probably not going to be a problem for the average person, but my hands are so beat up and my, my neuropathy kind of limits me sometimes. And I just find the micarta version easier for me to manipulate. There's the uh, pivot to pivot from the two, the full size and the mini. And let's back it up butt to butt so you can get a full length on it. And at the bottom, I'll throw the area uh, rat one. I mean, rat two, I'm sorry. Rat two, butt to butt. The rat two's a hair longer, it looks like. I mean, a hair longer, uh, but it definitely feels better in hand than the rat two. Uh, let's see, maybe next to the Biblio. <laughs> let's go pivot to pivot with the Biblio. It's a little bit longer than the Biblio. Nope, not nice because bigger. I mean the Corta, I'm sorry. Corta is a bigger knife. That's a lot of awesome knives. Let me know which Giant Mouse Ace knife is your favorite. If you own any, which ones do you own? And what are your experiences with Giant Mouse Ace knives? Um, I love them, if you couldn't tell. Like I said, I just started working with them recently. Um, I bought a lot of, uh, I bought, you know, several of these before I bought uh, this one, I bought this one, um, I bought this one, and then I started working with them uh, this year, and yes, they have sent me some, but I always like to establish uh, my feelings on a brand before I start to work with them. Just I just feel better, because if I don't like their nods at all, I'll, I'll usually just decline them uh, sending me any review samples to uh, show y'all guys because you know I like to be excited about what I'm reviewing and if I can't if I can't get excited about it then it's going to be a boring video to watch because I'm just not going to be my energetic self <laughs> so there you go if you have any questions comments concerns please leave down below I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day I will see y'all on the next one yeah peace